Good day everyone, how are you? This is Teacher Lala. I will teach and guide you in learning health. Our lesson is all about personal health issues and concerns on hearing and vision. You are expected to learn the personal health issues of ears and eyes and concerns about it. Our ears are our sense organ for hearing. The ears are the most visible part of the human hearing system. Taking care of your ears is important in many ways. Earwax, also called cerumen, is made by the body to protect the ears. The earwax has both lubricating and antibacterial properties. If it is pushed against the herb drum by cotton buds or hairpins, it blocks the ear canal and causes hearing problems. If impacted cerumen or hardened earwax is untreated, it can lead to hearing loss, irritation, pain in the ears, dizziness, ringing ears, and other problems. Do not use cotton buds and other objects. Instead, use soft cloth in cleaning the ears. Swimmer's ear is an infection in the outer ear canal. It happens when water is trapped in the ears, causing bacterial or fungal infection that spreads in the inner ear. If untreated, it causes severe pain, redness or swelling of the outer ear, and fever. This condition needs to be treated by a doctor. It is advised to use earplugs during swimming activities. Clean your ears with a wet cloth after taking a bath to avoid water getting into the ear canal. Otitis media is a group of inflammatory diseases of the middle ear. This disease is common in children because the tube that allows fresh air in the middle ear is not yet fully developed. Children experience middle ear infections due to virus or bacteria caused by common cold. This may result in pulling at the ear, increasing crying, and poor sleep. As a remedy, apply a warm moist cloth over the affected ear. You may also use over-the-counter medicines or ear drops to ease the pain. If the pain worsens, consult a doctor. Remember, your ears usually do a good job cleaning themselves and don't need any extra care. The only reason you should clean them is to soften or remove airwax from the outside of your ear canals. And if you're going to do that, you'll need to know how to do it carefully. Another sense of organ that we need to take care of is our eyes. Ophthalmologists or eye doctor will tell your personal health issues and concerns that may affect the eyes. Here are some eye conditions that you might experience now. First, astigmatism. Astigmatism is a common eye condition experienced by young people. The symptoms included blurry vision, eye strain, headaches, and trouble seeing at night. Myopia or nearsightedness is a vision condition in which people can see close objects clearly, but objects farther away appear blurred. People with myopia have difficulty seeing clearly a movie or TV screen, blackboard or whiteboard in school, and while driving. In school, pupils with myopia should be seated in front. Wearing eyeglasses are recommended for eye correction. Hyperophia or farsightedness, also known as long-sightedness, is a condition where people have difficulty focusing on objects that are too close but can see distant objects very well. It can be corrected by eyeglasses or contact lenses. Serophthalmia is a medical condition in which the eye fails to produce tears. It may be caused by vitamin A deficiency characterized by white spots and ulcers on the cornea. 
If not treated, it could result to night blindness or serious damage to the cornea or outer layer of the eye. Eating foods that are rich in vitamin A is advised to avoid seroptalmia. Estrabismus is also called crossed eyes. It is a condition in which the eyes do not properly align with each other when looking at an object. Mild estrabismus can be corrected by a vision therapy or eye exercises performed at home. Here is the proper caring of the eye. First, eat healthy food. Next, get enough sleep and exercise. And third, use protective eyewear to prevent eye injuries. Visit your eye specialist if you have problems about your eyes. Ophthalmologists are always ready to give proper care and medication to your eye needs. For your learning task, complete the sentences with the correct word from the box below. Write the answers in your notebook. This ends our lesson about personal health issues and concerns on hearing and vision. Again, this is Teacher Lala. Until our next lesson in health, take care everyone.